It's baseball time. Baseball is out of here. And today we'll be discussing the Phillies 2021 starting lineup. And batting number one, we have Andrew McCutcheon starting in left field. He can be a solid player. He can be clutch in those McCutcheon moments, if you know what I mean. Clutch, McCutcheon, uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so he can be a solid guy for us. Batting number two, we have Reese Hoskins, we have. So he, can, he has turned it up a notch after having a disappointing year from his rookie year. The rookie year, he had a great year of his home runs. Then the year after, he had a disappointing year. Last year, he started picking it back up, and hopefully he can stay that way. Otherwise, we'll have to move Alec Bohm to first base. We don't want that. While if Reese can produce those good numbers he had his rookie year, we will be fine with that. Batting number three, the Phillies' best player, Bryce Harper, the guy who signed a lot of money for 13 years. Hopefully, he can win a World Series for us. He has been great of of those clutch. He's been great of getting on base, great defensive player. He's thrown out a bunch of people at home from right field, and he's also starting right field. He's had a lot of great hits, great batting average, great on base percentage. He's, I will say he's a top 10 uh, right fielder in the MLB right now. That's my opinion. He can be, he'll be a great player. Then coming at number four, we have JT Rumuto. He just re-signed his contract for with the Phillies, and he'll be a Philly hopefully for life. And Bryce Harper got his best friend in baseball. JT is one of the best catchers. He can throw from home plate to second base in a quick couple seconds to throw the guy out. He's one of the best offensive players in baseball. And the best catcher, in my opinion, he's the best catcher in MLB. No question about it. He's great. He's an athletic, versatile guy. He's fast. He is great hitting, great batting. He's a great hitter and all that, and defensively. Then number five, the rookie snub from the NL, National League, is Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm had a great season last year. He had greats going up from coming up from Lehigh Valley to here. He's put up good numbers for us. And he's also a great defensive third baseman too. So he can help out in like the right after JT and like all Bryce. He can help pick it up for us to keep the momentum going of that batting lineup to help us get more runs and save. And hopefully we don't have to use the bullpen much in that case. Like, he can help us get more runs, and yeah, he can help us do that. All right, number six, the Phillies have re Phillies re-signed him, Didi Gregorius. Didi had a great year. He had a couple clutch moments of a grand slam home runs. He had he was great phenomenally. He was great defensively, also as, at shortstop, too. He can be a great guy for us. All right, number seven, this is where things start going a little bit down. Gene Segura starting at second base. Ugh. He can he's average. He's he's like eh, he's like an average baseball player for us. Like he can have his good moments sometimes, but it's just like and eh, like you don't see the consistency. This guy you'll see it once in a while, but like he doesn't have the consistency, which is where I don't see that's my problem with the Phillies with like that batting part of the batting lineup. Alright, number eight. This guy, I think he's a versatile like player that like can play any position in the infield or outfield. And starting in center field at number eight, Scott Kingery. He is a great, he can help, he's a great like athletic guy, great versatile again, as I just said. He can help get those hits for us. He can make the he can be uh get those RBIs with us also. So and he's also a great def he's also a good defensive player. We, yeah, he's a great defensive player, too, for that. So if we put him in center field, we'll be a better, like, outfield than we was last year when R uh, Roman Quinn 
always would dive for it and miss the catch by like a bunch, like a very big margin. But like Scott Kingery, he can get those and play great in center field. And also he could throw out people too from killing from center field to home too. So, and then finally at number nine, this is where I would, I wish there was DH, but there isn't in the national league. Only the AL is our starting opening day pitcher is Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola. I don't have to, there's nothing about batting really for him. The only thing he knows is like pitching. That's about it. He's like the best pitcher and like, he's a great pitcher. Like he's one of the best in the league. He can, he's carried us and will help us shut out uh, batters on the opposite team. And he will be a gr he will do, have a solid, great year for us. And hopefully he can help us with, along with the other starting rotation to the playoffs with us. And so, just to recap, for the starting lineup for the Phillies this upcoming regular season, number one, Andrew McCutcheon, number two, Reese Hoskins, number three, Bryce Harper, four, JT Ramuto, five, Alec Bohm, six, Didi Gregoria, seven, J Gene Segura, eight, Scott Kingery, and nine, Aaron Nola. Now, where I see the, like, the great greatness of our lineup is from one all the way to six, Seven of Gene's correct me eh, so but we don't know really much. And then from eight to nine, that's where it's bad. That's the like that's the bad part of our lineup because Scott Kearney, as I s said, he's a good hitter. He's like not like a like a home run guy, like and he's not like a big slugger guy. He's like a who's the guy I remember? Uh Cesar Hernandez. That's like the guy I remember, like who always would get like a single or a double and rarely get a home run. That was that's who I would say, like, Scott Kingery is, of, like, that, like, hitting-wise. But overall, what do you think about the Phillies lineup? Where would you like to, who do you think will make the starting lineup for the Phillies? Do you think I was right? Do you think I was wrong? Let me know what you think about it in the comments below section. And so, what a good year. So hopefully the Phillies make the playoffs. Please, and don't have the worst bullpen and again, in MLB, please just make the playoffs. I don't care if it's a wild card loss. Just make the playoffs. Break the playoff droughts since 2011, please. <sighs> Baseball is out.